Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen for another Bake with Angie. Um, we're going to go right back to basics today um, and I'm going to do just a simple Victoria sponge cake. So what you're going to need for this is you're going to need 175 grams of softened butter, 175 grams of self-raising flour, 175 grams of caster sugar, three eggs, two tablespoons of milk, a teaspoon of vanilla extract then for the middle you're going to need some strawberry or raspberry jam depending on your preference and some double cream which we're going to whip and then just for dusting on the top you need some icing sugar you probably won't need that much but i've just measured some out into a cup there and then for your equipment what you're going to need to bake this in is two seven inch um tins uh, just sandwich tins uh, lined with baking paper and just greased with a bit of butter so there we go that's what you're going to need and I'm going to show you how to make it okay so we want to get our oven going to 180 degrees C which is about 350 degrees Fahrenheit and gas mark 4 okay so I've got my trusty mixer here Oops. Uh, and all I'm going to do is to this bowl is add your butter and your sugar and we're just going to cream them together. So, butter and my sugar. So 175 grams of butter and 175 grams of caster sugar. Into the bowl there. Just going to cream those now. Okay, so once you've creamed your mixture together, what you want to do now is you want to add your eggs just a little bit at a time. Let me just get you a bit closer. There we go, so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, yeah, so we want to add, well, I've beaten the eggs together already, so they're here in my jug. Uh, I'm just going to add them a little bit, little bit at a time um, into the mixture just so it mixes together with the butter and sugar mix. Okay, so while that's going, we're now going to add your flour in just a bit at a time so it starts to mix into the mixture. is starting to thicken up a little bit now. And it's becoming more of your traditional batter.
Okay, so when that's combined, what you're going to add now is your milk and your, um, your vanilla essence. So, you can either mix them together or you can just add them straight into the bowl. So, we've got two tablespoons of milk. Semi-skimmed works best, to be honest. Um, I tend to use skim because it's all I have in and it doesn't really make much of a difference, but usually when you're baking, semi-skimmed is a better milk to use because it's got a bit more cream in it. And then you also want your teaspoon of your vanilla extract. So, one teaspoon of vanilla. Now into the mix. And I'm just gonna put the mixer back on just to mix those through. Right, and there we have our mix. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna get my spatula and I'm just going to mix in just the bits you can see some of the flour there with the mixer it's just not quite taken so I'm just going to mix it in by hand the last little bit there we are so that is your mixture all ready to go into our tins Okay, so we've got our two tins here, so I'm just going to divide the mixture as evenly as I can between the two tins. I'm just going to level both of these off now so they're smooth on the top and they fill all the corners of the tin. Okay, so we've got our two tins now ready to go into the oven. So you're just going to pop those on the middle shelf um, of your oven and you're going to bake those for about 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, so I've got to start them at 20 and I'll check them after 20 minutes. So these have been in now for about 22 minutes. I did take them out to 20, but they just needed just that little bit more. And as you can see, they are these lovely golden brown colour. 
So I'm going to remove them from the oven and you just need to let them sit in the pan just to cool off first of all for about 10 minutes after which I'm going to transfer them onto the wire rack to finish off cooling completely. But I'm just going to leave them there for about 10 minutes. Okay so after about 10 minutes I'm just going to get these onto the, the rack now. Just turn them out of the tin and hopefully they will come out quite Oh, perfectly. Marvellous. Just move that one up a bit. So I've got room for them both. There we go. And number two. Yeah, there we go. Marvellous. So I'm just going to remove the paper, which comes off quite easily. As you can see, they are lovely and cooked through. So I'm just going to leave them now again just to cool down a bit. They're still a bit too warm. Then once they're completely cool, I'm going to make the filling um, of the cakes and sandwich them together. So I'll be back to you shortly. Okay, so sometimes when you're baking, things don't go to plan, which is what's happened here. Um, as you saw in the ingredients, I had a pot of double cream, which was going to whip up uh, to make the filling for the Victoria sponge. However, um, the cream wasn't whipping properly um not sure why i don't know whether it's me um because i've never actually whipped cream before so i'm not sure whether it's me that's doing something wrong or whether it's the cream i've had a quick look online um and it could be either to be perfectly honest so we've gone for plan b which fortunately we do have so we move on to plan b we have some whip squir squirty cream in stock so rather than the double cream whipped i'm going to use this Then turn that round and on the other one we're going to put the jam so i'm just what i'm going to do is i've got a little bowl and i'm just going to put the jam into the bowl i'm just going to mix it so it's not quite as hard so just makes it a bit easier to spread okay a bit as you can see it's just made it a bit easier to pour on go and just quickly smooth that around the other cake is perfect and then all we're going to do is we're going to lift one onto the other so very carefully because obviously as soon as you turn this upside down everything is going to go everywhere so there we go and that looks to me to be ideal so i'm just going to move it into the i'm going to move it onto a plate that's probably the best way to do it okay so we've got our final our finished cake all sandwiched together on a cake board and now i'm just going to dust the top with our icing sugar in the jar later and there we have our final victoria sponge which i'm just going to put into the fridge just to chill the jam and the cream uh, until it's ready to be eaten or rather taken to work for my colleagues to eat it <laughs> 